Hi, this is Avina. I lead the place and route teams for Custom Compiler and we will be talking about visually assisted automation today. Visually assisted automation is the very soul of Custom Compiler. It's its true strength and a differentiator design keeping productivity improvements in mind. The theme being user directives that guide solutions that are custom but provide real-time feedback and assistance. The three pieces that tie this together are the interactive router, which creates DRC correct interconnect using user input and guidance. The pattern router, which creates connections from a predefined catalog of patterns, taking away numerous clicks and entries. And the template different design, which reuses placement and routing patterns from earlier designs, helping in ECOs, knowledge transfer learning, and general productivity improvements. Interactive routing is the first router piece that ties this together. It enables the user to create connections with fewer clicks, taking advantage of the underlying engine that understands the increasingly complex design constraints. It has the ability to be user-driven following either the cursor movement or uh, free to make its own connections using point-to-point -point, where the router is able to make the choices. Interactive router has the ability to clone connections, tap into pins, route in free space, along with visual feedback for both DRC as well as pin alignments. While the second piece, the pattern router based routing solution allows the user to complete structured solutions quickly by choosing through a library of predefined patterns. Besides the ability to route a placement from the symbolic editor, it also enables saving of these patterns into templates for future reuse. Template usage is a proven layout productivity improvement methodology. A user can create templates for layouts from expert designers or even for their own reuse during ECOs, as this design has been tried and tested. A template is created without any programming involved. It contains the layout, schematic, and constraints which were automatically generated during layout without any user intervention for the design. The available templates are identified on the new design, and a new layout is generated from the same templates even for different device sizes. We're going to see custom compiler in action, starting with the interactive router. One can view the devices that were placed with the symbolic editor. The net to be routed is selected from the navigator. Interactive routing is selected from the pull down menu and starting on a pin of your choice, the router is used to automatically weld the pins together in a backbone style. You can drag your cursor along the canvas and it automatically connects the pins in the region in the same style. I'm going to hit undo and try to connect these pins using auto cloning and welding the connections in a fishbone style. With auto cloning enabled. Next we can connect the trunks together with auto via drop and the router will connect the trunks using vias as one drags the cursor across intersections. We'll try to complete a few of the connections using interactive router in point-to-point -point mode, where one can complete the connection by clicking on the source and target, and it will honor the selected pins. We look at the pattern router next. Looking at the pattern route assistant and we can browse through the predefined patterns that exist for the catalog. Use the net, select the net that we would like to be routed. Look through the topology of the net to be able to make a choice for the pattern that suits that topology. You select that pattern and you route and the pattern router automatically takes care of the connection details. This also makes it faster and easier to route match nets. You need to pick the same pattern and match connections are made automatically. Next, we will pick another pattern 
that demonstrate the ability of the pattern router to route over diffusion. We're trying to go through each of the nets and make sure that the topologies that were selected were followed. Once the nets have been routed, we can easily create a template for reuse by using the GUI available on the canvas. We inspect the constraints next to see that they have been automatically created without any intervention while we were generating the layout and saved upon creation. Once the templates have been saved, they can be reused for layout recreation. A new design is opened here from a schematic driven layout. You can open up the template manager from the menu and choose from your template library which contains the template we created earlier. You can view the layout generated from the template in the gallery. A layout is automatically generated with the same routing and placement patterns. We select a few of the nets to see that the same topology as in the templates were maintained. Next, we look at layout creation and ECO with templates. This library has three different templates for another sub-circuit, which is a payload in this case. The user has the flexibility to choose the best for their current design. One can also optimize the layout using the symbolic editor. Here I am changing the placement pattern for the layout selected from the canvas. Yeah, now I'm adding peripheral dummies on the left and right sides. You can see that the routing patterns and guardrails were adjusted for those changes. Let me show you how templates make ECOs easier. You can make a schematic change. Here the number of fins are modified. Now the layout no longer matches the schematic. Templates assist in such ECOs. No need to replace or rip up and reroute your design. Regenerate from your template and now it matches the new schematic. The difference between the old and new layout can clearly be seen as we cycle through them. The new layout has been adjusted for the new fin numbers including row spacing, guard rings and existing routing. The next few slides show the nature of a true custom solution, one that meets the increasingly complex gate tapping requirements of our customer SD microelectronics in this case whether it is the percentage of gate contact or the ability to make a same layer L, extending the gate poly to be able to make the connection or ensuring that the connections maintain symmetry. Pattern routing is also EM aware. It uses custom compilers InDesign EM reporter to check for violations during layout, but it also feeds it as an input to the router so that it can compute widths accordingly, keeping EM requirements in mind. One of the ways in which the router addresses EM is via the use of stacked routing. As currents increase, it isn't always possible to increase wire widths due to area constraint. The router can stack connections instead. Seen here for M3 and M4 trunks and M1 and M2 tap-offs. Visually assisted flow can help with significant productivity gains by capturing relative placements for a design which can be reused for one with a similar construct. Typically such an effort requires a day's worth of work, but with templates, ST turned this around in a few minutes. The numbers from our users 
in this case ST, are testament to the power of custom compilers visually assisted flow, which works across different design styles and has resulted in significant gains in layout development times. For more information, please visit www.customcompiler.info. Thank you so much for your time.